dysfunctional vet here. This tree had forked at the top and was splitting and I talked to the power company about taking it down because it was right on the power line. Now the, the split is actually right up here. You can probably see that, how bad that's uh, divided out. But I needed some boards for a staking project on some concrete and I thought I could get them out of this. But what was surprising to me is externally on this tree there was absolutely no evidence whatsoever that the split was down this far and here we got a well it just fell had a pine beetle a type of pine wood boring beetle was eating into this but as you can see this split is all the way down inside here right on this nice pretty wood. It's pretty gooey, nasty. It's like picking up slime. The wood that was at the top is this piece right here and this is where the bark was coming off. But there's no evidence of, oh, and there's one of our little worms right there. But there was no evidence whatsoever that the tree had split down as far as what it had and this is a good oh well, possibly five to seven feet and if you look right here it was continuing to split that's down into the heartwood about one inch and then it it comes in this is where it's pretty clear and then it comes down and it's it kind of becomes impossible to discern right in here but that thing was splitting all the way through and had it broke it would have come down on the power line so if you see a tree and the top of it is clearly divided and it's getting big it's probably worth your time to have the power company come out and get it off your line so it doesn't break knock the power down and or start a fire which is not a good thing in a forest this is dysfunctional vet signing off